Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys see by the titles and the thumbnail, yes, in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new car pack in Roblox Driving Empire, which is the two new porches in Roblox Driving Empire. So, let's see, the new car pack right over here. So, as you guys see, this is the Porsche Duel, the new car pack. So, yeah, the price of this car pack is 1,100 Robux. Wow, it's pretty expensive robots, but I'm sure most of you guys are gonna say, oh, when it's come to car pack, it's not really worth it because pretty sure the car is really suck and pretty slow. Made for a collection. Well, yeah, watch till the end to see if it's really worth it or worth buying it. So I already have these two cars and yeah, we're gonna be reviewing them. Alright, so let's go to the dealership right now to check out the vehicle statics all right so let's go all right so i'm on the dealership right now and we're gonna go to the new vehicles and yep we're gonna go to the the car pack over here so this is the porsche 911 car 4s coupe 993 and based on the vehicle statics with fully stuck is 162 miles per hour 28 percent acceleration 49 percent handling and 46 percent of braking so the handling it's pretty good. The braking is pretty good. The acceleration is really bad. 28% is pretty slow. Obviously, this car is classic. Alright, so you can tell. This is the classic car. Alright, not too happy. And the next one. Alright, uh, this is the 2024 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS. And based on the vehicle status, with fully stock, is 197 miles per hour, 64% of acceleration, 49% of handling, and 46% of braking. Okay, the acceleration is massive. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so let's hear the startup on these two cars. Let's go. Okay, pretty good startup, pretty good ramps, and we have the um the convertible. Okay, um no, it's not convertible, it's open sunroof. Okay, pretty cool. And we have the active doors, the back trunk, okay, and the front trunk. Oh yeah. Free cam time. Let's do this. Alright, so we have the nice looking detail on this old classic porch. Oh yeah, look at this. The engines over here. Very, very old. Very classic. Oh yeah. Pretty nice. Pretty detailized. And the fun truck. More space, more storage we could put in. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Look at this. Pretty cool. And the interiors, obviously, very, very old. <laughs> the speedometer, the button. No screen, just the radio and the air conditioner. Oh, wow. Okay, and then open sunroof. Yep. And four seaters. Pretty sick, right? <laughs> All right. The next startup. Okay, pretty good startup. Pretty good run. Okay, and we can open this doors. All right, pretty cool. The back trunk as well. And the front trunk. Oh yeah, free cam time. Okay, so we have the nice looking detail on this GT4 RS. Oh yeah, pretty cool, pretty sick. Oh yeah, pretty cool. So we have um the front truck, more space, more storage. It's pretty good. It's kind of, you know, good amount of space. Oh yeah. And we have the Porsche logo badge. Oh yeah, amazing dude. And yep, the GT4 RS on the size of the door is pretty cool. Yup, yup, yup. And obviously the back trunk. Oh yeah, the engines and more space storage too. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Wow, I actually like this, not gonna lie. So yeah, the interiors. Dang, dude. Oh, I have to be looking good right now. Oh my god. Look at the speedometers. Look at the screen, the button, and the gear shift box. Oh yeah, look at this. Pretty cool. And two seaters. Yep. All right. Now we're gonna do a drive race. Let's go. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and boom. Okay. It's pretty good acceleration. It's pretty quick. Yeah, already at 200 miles per hour. All right, and we got 7.6 seconds. Okay. All right, the next one. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and boom. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty slow. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. And I'm already at like 140 miles per hour and we got 9.6 seconds. And now let's fully upgrade on these two cars. Alright, performance in engines, race engine 25,000. Okay, pretty cool. Aspiration quad turbo 24,000. Alright, brakes, race brakes 15,000. Okay, it's pretty cheap. 
tires, race tires, 16,000. All right, net train premium boost, install that and upgrade it. There we go. And drivetrain is all wheel drive. Okay, so based on the vehicle status, with fully mass upgrade is 194 miles per hour, 34% of acceleration, 55% of handling, 84% of braking. Still pretty slow though. <laughs> the acceleration is pretty bad. And the top speed, still lagging, but obviously it's classic car. All right, what do you guys expect? <laughs> And now we're gonna upgrade the other car. Performance scene, engines, race engine, 53,000. Okay. Aspiration quad turbo, 46,000. All right. Brakes, race brakes, 27,000. Okay. Tires, 31,000. Okay. Nitrogen premium boost, install this and upgrade it. There we go. And drivetrain is real wheel drive. So let's put all wheel drive for $54,000. Okay. And based on the vehicle status, with fully mass upgrade is 236 miles per hour, 96% acceleration, 55% handling, and 84% of braking. Alright, so for the appear scene on these two cars, I'm gonna do it on off camera, so we're gonna go straight forward. So now, we're gonna do a drive race. Alright, here we go. Fully mass upgrade in 3, 2, 1, and boom. Okay, wow. Okay, surprisingly, it's good. It's pretty quick. All right, and uh, we got 5.6 seconds. Okay, all right, here we go. In three, two, one, and boom. Okay, pretty slow acceleration, but I don't know why I feel like quick. But okay, so we have 6.9 seconds. Okay, okay, and now we're gonna do a circus race and we're gonna fast forward. <laughs> So this car is, I mean, it feel pretty smooth. So we got 3 minutes and 13 seconds on this car. So yeah, this car is freaking smooth, if I'm going to be honest with you. So the acceleration is pretty decent, but not the best. But the handling and the braking, oh, so good, so smooth. All right, so now um, we're going to do the 2024 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS in circus race. So let's go. Wow, this car is fabulous. Yo. 2 minutes and 55 seconds. Okay. I mean, this car, yo, the acceleration is so freaking good. And the handling, pretty good. The braking, pretty good. And the top speed, solid decent though. But, yo, this car, wow. So, whatever you guys are gonna say, for the Porsche Duel, that costs 1,100 Robux, well, there's one car that is really good, one car that is really bad. So, obviously, this car right here, the GT4 RS, is pretty good. The acceleration is pretty good. The handling is pretty good. The braking is good. And the tow speed, I will give it, like, 7 out of 10 for sure. And the everything on this car, whoa, 8.5 out of 10 for sure. And the classic one, um, right here. Ooh, so, obviously, this is the classic car, obviously. And it's... Pretty smooth, it feel nice, and I would say 6.5 out of 10, but you know, this car is, you know, made for car collections. I would say there's pros and cons about the Porsche Duel car pack. So, there's many pros and cons about every other car pack, like um, the Hennessy, um, the Jaguar, what else, Audis, yeah, uh, McLarens. It could be, you know, pros and cons about the cars. And I know about the Audi is pretty bad, but you know, it's only for car collection. But some car pack is made for car collection, some car pack is not made for car collection. You know, is it really worth it? Well, in my opinion, it's only this car is really worth it. And the other car is car collection, obviously. So 1,100 Robux, is it well spent? I would say don't buy it because Porsche 918 Spider is definitely more better than this car because it's the in-game cash not the game pass all right 
So yeah, you guys can buy the um, Porsche Duel if you guys want to. I'm not gonna voice you, so you guys can buy it if you want to. That's pretty much it. And yeah, that's it for the video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you miss any of my content. So yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.